Hold on to your heart, because we're about to witness a power shift like no other. Picture this. An authority figure, someone who's always held the reins, suddenly losing their grip. But why? What could possibly have brought down this mighty force? The answer lies in a tale of betrayal, of ethics questioned and lines crossed. Get ready to uncover the shocking truth behind the downfall of a once unstoppable figure. Before moving forward, comment yes if you believe in God and do help support us through Super Chat or watching this video completely. God says, this is the time you have been waiting for. You have faced many challenging circumstances and learned a great deal during your journey. You haven't stopped believing, though. By persevering through all of the challenges you have faced and rising beyond them, you have shown an incredible amount of strength. God implores the person to reflect on the trials they have endured and the strength they have demonstrated in overcoming them. Despite the difficulties, they have remained steadfast in their faith and resilience. God acknowledges the struggles they have faced, but also emphasizes the growth and wisdom gained from those experiences. This moment, according to God, is significant. It signifies the culmination of their journey thus far, and the beginning of a new chapter filled with promise and opportunity. God encourages them to embrace this moment with courage and confidence, knowing that they are prepared to face whatever lies ahead with strength and resilience. Charged to forfeit their position of authority if they have wronged you, they are using their power to harm you, perhaps out of jealousy, spite, or just for personal gain. It might seem like they have all the control, and you might feel powerless against them. However, the concept of a higher power like God introduces a different perspective to the situation. God is the ultimate authority with boundless might and insight. Unlike earthly authorities who may abuse their power or act unjustly, God is just and all-knowing. He sees everything, including the injustices perpetrated against you. While it may seem like those in positions of power hold sway over your life, God's presence reminds you that there is a higher authority at work. With God's presence in the equation, you are not alone in your struggles against injustice. His omnipotence and omniscience mean that nothing escapes his notice, and he is capable of intervening on your behalf. Even when faced with seemingly insurmountable challenges posed by those in authority, you can find solace and strength in knowing that God's justice surpasses human limitations. God's presence offers hope and reassurance in times of oppression or exploitation. It reminds you that justice will prevail and those who misuse their authority will be held accountable. Moreover, aligning yourself with God's will empowers you to stand firm in the face of adversity, knowing that you are guided by a higher purpose and protected by divine intervention. Ultimately, while earthly authorities may wield temporary power, God's authority is eternal and transcendent. By placing your trust in Him, you can navigate the complexities of life with faith and courage, knowing that his justice will ultimately prevail. Including the deeds of those in positions of control, God is aware when someone in a position of authority treats you unethically. Many individuals find solace in this concept because it suggests that there is a power that is superior to all human authority. Unjust acts turn you into their victim, and the one who did the wrong thing believes their power is unstoppable. But the idea of divine justice implies that no power, no matter how strong, is immune to the repercussions of their immoral actions. The awareness of God's omniscience brings comfort to those who have been wronged by individuals in positions of authority. It serves as a reminder that even if earthly authorities abuse their power or act unjustly, they are not beyond accountability. The knowledge that God sees all deeds including those done in the shadows of power, offers hope for justice and vindication. Furthermore, the concept of divine justice challenges the notion of impunity often associated with those in positions of authority. While they may wield considerable power in the temporal realm, they are ultimately subject to a higher moral order. This realization instills a sense of humility and caution as it unders the accountability that transcends human laws and regulations. For those who have suffered at the hands of unjust authority, 
figures the belief in divine justice provides a sense of validation and empowerment. It assures them that their grievances are not overlooked or dismissed, but rather acknowledged by a higher power that upholds righteousness. This recognition of divine oversight imbues their struggle with purpose and significance as they trust in the ultimate fairness and balance of God's judgment. Moreover, the idea of divine justice offers a source of resilience and fortitude in the face of oppression. It encourages individuals to persevere in seeking justice, knowing that their efforts are aligned with the universal moral order upheld by God. This belief fosters courage and determination, enabling individuals to confront and challenge unjust authority with the confidence that righteousness will prevail in the end. In essence, the concept of divine justice serves as a beacon of hope and righteousness for those who have been wronged by individuals in positions of control. It reaffirms the belief in a higher moral authority that transcends human limitations, offering solace, validation, and empowerment to those who seek justice in the face of oppression and injustice. This concept is based on the notion that justice will ultimately triumph because a higher force is in charge of the world's events. It's essential to note that this perspective doesn't encourage revenge or harm towards those who have wronged you. Instead, it focuses on the concept of cosmic justice, where wrongdoers face consequences naturally. This idea serves as a source of hope and solace for those who find themselves at the mercy of someone abusing their power. The narrative of divine justice teaches you that there is a balance in the universe. No one can escape the consequences of their actions. It underscores the belief that every deed, whether good or bad, contributes to the intricate web of cause and effect that shapes the world. In this cosmic framework, the notion of accountability is woven into the fabric of existence, ensuring that justice prevails in the grand scheme of things. This understanding of divine justice fosters a sense of responsibility and moral awareness among individuals. It encourages them to consider the ethical implications of their actions, knowing that they are accountable not only to human laws, but also to a higher moral order. By recognizing the interconnectedness of all beings and events, this perspective promotes empathy, compassion, and integrity in human interactions. Moreover, the belief in divine justice offers reassurance to those who have been wronged or marginalized by unjust power dynamics. It assures them that their suffering is not in vain and that justice will be served in due course, even if it may not be immediate. This belief provides a sense of empowerment and resilience, enabling individuals to endure adversity with the confidence that righteousness will prevail in the end. Ultimately, the narrative of divine justice instills hope in the face of injustice and adversity. It reminds individuals that no act of cruelty or oppression goes unnoticed or unpunished in the grand scheme of the universe. By embracing this belief, individuals can find solace in the idea that justice is not merely a human construct but an inherent aspect of the cosmic order, guided by a higher force that ensures balance and equity for all beings. Especially when those actions involve harming others, the idea of divine justice implies otherwise. Even though the perpetrator may think that their strength protects them from any consequences, the wrongdoer's acts eventually catch up with them. It is believed that God, as the supreme power, subtly intervenes to establish justice. This divine intervention could occur as a result of a sequence of incidents, a shift in the situation, or a slow loss of the wrongdoer's authority and influence. In essence, the immoral acts of the wicked become the seeds of their own downfall. While they may initially seem to benefit from their wrongdoing, their actions sow the seeds of their eventual demise. Divine justice operates in a manner that restores balance to the universe, ensuring that no act of injustice goes unpunished. This process of divine intervention may unfold gradually, as the consequences of the wrongdoer's actions accumulate over time. They may experience setbacks, failures, or unexpected challenges that erode their power and influence. Alternatively, divine justice may manifest suddenly, delivering swift retribution for their transgressions. Moreover, 
Divine justice often operates through natural or societal mechanisms, allowing the consequences of immoral actions to unfold organically. For example, individuals who abuse their power may face legal repercussions, loss of reputation, or social ostracism as a result of their misconduct. These consequences serve as a form of divine intervention, restoring justice and ensuring accountability for their actions. Ultimately, the concept of divine justice serves as a reminder that no one is above the moral order of the universe. Regardless of their perceived strength or authority, wrongdoers will ultimately face the consequences of their actions. By upholding the principles of justice and righteousness, divine intervention works to uphold the integrity and harmony of the cosmic order, ensuring that justice prevails for all beings. As wrongdoers face the consequences of their actions, they begin to lose the very power they misused, and they are forced to deal with the fallout from their actions. It's important to note that the goal is not retaliation, but concerns the universe's inherent justice system. This idea also teaches us about the human spirit's ability to bounce back from misfortune brought on by authority figures. Hope is derived from the conviction that divine justice exists. It gives people comfort in knowing that despite the seeming disparity in power, there's a force bigger than any human authority watching out for the welfare of the defenseless. Recognizing that this concept is based on faith and varies among various religions and civilizations is crucial. Not everyone may subscribe to the idea of divine justice, and that's perfectly understandable. Belief systems vary widely, and individuals interpret the workings of the universe differently. Some may find solace in the concept of divine justice, while others may attribute events to chance, karma, or other philosophical or religious beliefs. Regardless of one's personal beliefs, the concept of divine justice serves as a source of hope and comfort for many. It provides reassurance that, in the face of injustice and oppression, there is a higher power working to restore balance and ensure that wrongs are ultimately righted. This belief can empower individuals to persevere in the face of adversity and maintain faith in the inherent goodness of the universe actions, especially those in positions of authority. The belief in divine justice instills a sense of accountability and responsibility among individuals, regardless of their status or power. When authority figures misuse their positions to inflict harm, it serves as a stark reminder to everyone that no one is above the consequences of their actions. This viewpoint emphasizes the importance of ethical conduct and integrity in positions of power. It highlights the need for compassion, fairness, and empathy in all interactions, particularly for those in positions of authority. The idea of divine justice suggests that there is a moral order to the universe, where actions have consequences and justice prevails in the end. The belief in divine justice empowers individuals to confront injustice and oppression, knowing that righteousness will ultimately triumph. It serves as a moral compass, guiding societies towards compassion and fairness, fostering hope and resilience in adversity. Faith in a higher authority offers assurance that justice will prevail, despite challenges, highlighting the resilience of the human spirit. Imagine, if you will, a season as this, so filled with God's grace that every step forward is guided by His hand. Every challenge faced is an opportunity for growth, and every moment is steeped in the potential for miraculous change. As we greet each day of March, let us embrace it as a month rich with the potential for new beginnings and flourishing aspirations. It's a time to reflect on the profound spiritual journey ahead of us. This isn't just another month. It's a divine invitation to experience life-changing breakthroughs and blessings. Think of each day as a seed capable of sprouting into a testament of God's faithfulness. As the earth renews itself, so too can our spirits be rejuvenated, infused with fresh hope and new strength. This March, let's open our hearts to the possibilities of what faith, trust, and surrender to God's will can bring into our lives. If you believe that God can make a difference in your life this month, let us stand together in faith, believing that God will move mightily in our lives. Make listening to this prayer every day of this month a part of your daily routine as you build your faith while anticipating the blessings that God has in store for you. 
I am also going to pray a powerful prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus. So watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. I and the gentle unfolding of the days of March. We are reminded of God's unwavering promise that He is continuously at work, ushering in new blessings into our lives that emerge as unexpectedly as the first blooms of spring. With the arrival of each morning, we are embraced by His unwavering mercies as fresh and invigorating as a new dawn. Isaiah 43 verse 19 reminds us, Behold, I will do a new thing, now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. This verse affirms God's continuous work in our lives. Alongside this, we are also comforted by Lamentations 3 verses 22 to 23, which assures us, saying, Through the Lord's mercies, we are not consumed because His compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Let us hold these promises close to our hearts. Let them be the guiding light through each day of this month and beyond. My friends, as God unfolds a fresh chapter in your life this month, anticipate blessings beyond your imagination. Ephesians 3 verse 20 reminds us, Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us. As we stand on the threshold of this new chapter, uplifted by the promise of divine blessings, let us also turn our hearts toward the horizon of breakthroughs. Just as we are encouraged by Ephesians 3 verse 20 to anticipate blessings beyond our imagination, let this assurance propel us into a realm where barriers are broken and limits are surpassed. In this sacred space of expectation, let us hold fast to the belief that with God, every moment is ripe with potential for transformation and victory. The concept of breakthrough is not just a fleeting wish, but a divine promise waiting to unfold in your life this month. Picture yourself standing before vast seas, with faith as your staff, ready to part the waters. The obstacle that once seemed insurmountable will become pathways to victory. Breakthroughs are born from moments of steadfast faith and unwavering trust in God's timing. Let this month be your moment of crossing over, leaving behind the wilderness and stepping into the promised land of your destiny. Joshua 1 verse 9 encourages us, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage, do not be afraid, nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. The month of March calls for a declaration of freedom and deliverance from every form of bondage and evil that has tried to hold you captive. Deliverance is God's hand extended in the darkest nights, His power setting you free from chains unseen. Like dawn breaking upon the night, God's light is ready to shatter the shadows, offering a way out where there seems to be none. Stand firm in your faith, for deliverance is not just a possibility. It is your inheritance as a child of God.my friends. As the earth breaks open to reveal the first signs of spring, so too can healing break through the hard ground of hurt and illness. Healing flows from the very heart of God, a balm for every wound and a remedy for every pain. This March, let hope rise within you like the springtime sun. Warming places that have been long cold and forgotten. God's desire is to see you whole, to mend what has been broken, and to restore what was lost. Embrace his healing touch, for it is as sure as the sunrise. Jeremiah 30 verse 17 tells us, For I will restore health to you and heal you of your wounds, says the Lord. As you navigate each day of this month, know that you are surrounded by God's safeguarding love and protection. Protection in this new month is as a fortress built around you a shield that no enemy can breach. The same God who watches over the sparrow is attentive to your every step, guarding you from seen and unseen dangers. Walk confidently into each new day, for you are covered by the Almighty Shadow, a place where fear cannot reside. Psalm 91 colon 4 reassures us, He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. My friends, the month of March stands as a beacon of hope, a testament to the enduring love and power of God at work in our lives. It's a time to sow seeds of faith and to expect a harvest of miracles. As the natural world around us bursts into life, let us also look for the signs of spiritual renewal and growth. Each day is a canvas painted with opportunities for blessings, breakthroughs, deliverance, healing, and protection. Let this month of March be your turning point, a period of extraordinary transformation that sets the tone for the rest of your year. With God by your side, there's no limit to what you can achieve. 
Philippians 4 verse 13 declares, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. This powerful assurance reminds us that with faith in Him, our possibilities are boundless. Remember, the same power that raised Christ from the dead is at work within you, ready to do immeasurably more than all you ask or imagine. March forward with courage, for you are destined for greatness, surrounded by God's blessings and favor. As we embrace the fullness of what March has to offer, let's do so with hearts open to the transformative power of God's love. Ready to receive the abundant life that He promises, let this month be a testament to His faithfulness. As we walk in the fullness of His blessings and breakthroughs, propelled by divine motivation towards the destiny He has ordained for us, not all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. And remember, you should also listen to this prayer each day of this month as you come in agreement and build your faith. It's a daily commitment to seeing God's hand move in every aspect of your life. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, the King of kings and Lord of lords, He who was and is and is to come, You are the Almighty and everlasting God, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I stand in awe of Your magnificent glory and power, acknowledging You as the Creator of all things and the Sustainer of life. Your greatness and majesty fill the heavens and the earth, and Your wisdom is unsearchable. You are worthy of all praise, and Your love endures forever. Lord, I come before you with a heart full of gratitude and praise. Thank you for your unfailing love, your boundless mercy, and the countless blessings you have poured into my life. Lord, thank you for the precious gift of life and for guiding me safely thus far. Your faithfulness has been my shield. Thank you for the promise of new beginnings, for the hope that springs eternal with the dawn of each day. May my heart always be attuned to your grace and goodness as I navigate the days ahead. Merciful Father, I confess my sins before you, those known and those hidden in the shadows of my heart. I ask for your forgiveness, and with a heart made free by your grace, I also forgive those who have trespassed against me. Lord, help me to release any harbored bitterness and resentment so that I may fully embrace the freedom found in forgiveness. Thought I seek your guidance each day as I navigate the paths you have set before me and as I encounter the challenges of life. Enlighten my path with the light of your wisdom and lead me in decisions that align with your will. Grant me the discernment to recognize your voice amidst the noise of the world and the boldness to follow it without hesitation. In every situation, may your guiding hand be upon me, directing my journey towards paths of righteousness and peace. I, in the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that confusion and doubt will not derail my journey. Father, I stand firm in the belief that your wisdom will be my compass, guiding every step I take towards the destiny that you have ordained for me. Lord, I seek your provision in every aspect of my life, trusting that you will supply all my needs according to your riches and glory. Grant me the wisdom to steward your blessings wisely and the faith to believe for abundance in areas of scarcity. In your grace, open the doors of opportunity and pour out your provision so I may reflect your generosity in my life. I pray for healing, Lord, in every part of my being. Heal my body from illness, mend my heart from brokenness, and restore my spirit from weariness. I stand firm on your promises of healing and restoration, and with faith, I claim complete healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your divine healing power flow through every cell of my body, rejuvenating my mind, heart, and soul. As I receive your healing, let it be a testimony of your unfailing love and compassion, not just in my life but also in the lives of my loved ones who are in need of your touch. I, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke and bind every form of bondage and declare deliverance over my life. I declare that every chain of addiction, fear, and any form of oppression is broken in the name of Jesus. I rejoice in the freedom that comes from your saving grace, knowing that whom the sun sets free is free indeed. May your hand guide me, bringing breakthroughs even in the barren areas of my life. Lord, I ask for your divine protection to be a shield around me and my loved ones. Guard us from the schemes of the enemy, from dangers seen and unseen. In the powerful name of Jesus, I rebuke every attack aimed to harm us, trusting that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Your faithfulness is our armor and protection, and under your wings we find refuge. Lord, as I say this prayer together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is opening before you right now. Almighty God, 
You are the rock of our salvation. We come in agreement seeking your face, asking for your hand to move mightily in our lives. Bless us, Lord, with your holy presence, fill us with your spirit, and lead us into a deeper relationship with you. Together we claim victory over our challenges, we declare healing over our bodies and minds, and we celebrate the peace and joy found in your love. Merciful Father, we stand against the spirit of poverty and lack in our lives, and we welcome the spirit of prosperity and abundance. I in the name of Jesus, we declare that we are blessed to be a blessing. And as vessels of your blessings, we become channels through which your abundance flows to enrich others. We pray for divine wisdom and discernment in every decision we face. Lead us by your spirit to walk in paths of righteousness. Shield us from deception and guide us into all truth. Grant us understanding and clarity to navigate life's challenges. Open our spiritual eyes to recognize the hidden traps and snares of the enemy and bestow upon us the wisdom to avoid them. Heavenly Father, we come before you seeking your divine protection over our relationships and interactions. Guard us from toxic relationships, manipulative individuals, and those who intend to cause harm. Surround us with the warmth of godly friendships, the wisdom of mentors, and the counsel of advisors who will uplift us on our faith journey. Bestow upon us the discernment to gracefully navigate the complexities of different personalities and relationships while we maintain a posture of love, grace, and forgiveness towards all. Almighty God, we call upon your strength and power to help us stand firm against the wiles of the enemy. In unity, we resist every temptation and commit to walking obediently according to your word. Protect us from the unseen battles of spiritual warfare. May your host of angels encamp around us, guarding our every step. We seek your divine protection over our words and actions, that we may be vessels of life, sources of encouragement and edification to those we encounter. In the name of Jesus, we declare that we are protected in our comings and goings. We declare that everything is working for us and not against us. We are grateful, Lord, for the assurance that your goodness and favor will be with us every step of the way. Let your peace that surpasses all understanding carry us through this month. We thank you for all that you have done and for all that you are about to do. Let your will be done in our lives as it is in heaven, for yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Think of the sun shining above a big, open field. Just like the sun is always there in the sky, giving light and warmth every day, God is always with us. Even when clouds cover the sun, we know it's still there. In the same way, even when we face hard times and can't see Him, God stands by us. He's always there, just like the sun shining above. Today, let us explore the unshakable presence of God in our lives. Understanding His guidance, drawing strength from Him, and learning how to live in the light of His unwavering love and support. I am also going to pray a powerful prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus, so watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. My friends, in Isaiah 41 verse 10, we are reassured, fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. These words are a powerful reminder of God's constant presence and protection. Just as the sun's rays reach out to touch the earth, God's hand is always extended to us, offering strength, guidance, and a steadfast presence in every moment of our lives. With this divine assurance, let us explore the depths of God's ever-present support. Exploring how His unchanging love and strength are our constant companions on this journey of life. Now, let us seek to understand the dynamics of God's presence. God's presence in our lives is an ever-present, life-sustaining force, much like the air we breathe. Invisible to our eyes, yet absolutely essential for our existence. The scripture in Acts 17 verse 28 highlights this truth, for in Him we live and move and have our being. This profound declaration reminds us that our very existence, every movement, and the essence of our being are deeply intertwined with the presence of God. It's a presence that doesn't fluctuate or diminish. It's constant, unwavering, and always available. We may not always perceive it through our physical senses, but it's as real and vital as the air that we depend on every second of the day. This divine presence goes beyond mere existence. It is the source of our strength, our joy, and our peace. In every challenge we face, God is there, 
upholding us with His righteous right hand. In moments of joy, His presence amplifies our happiness, reminding us of His everlasting love and care. In times of sorrow or uncertainty, His presence provides comfort and assurance, a reminder that we are never alone, never forgotten. God's presence is not just a backdrop in our lives, it is active and dynamic. It interacts with our lives, shaping our journeys and guiding our paths. It's in the quiet whispers of our hearts, the sudden insights during prayer, the unexpected blessings that brighten our days, and the strength we find in moments of weakness. And every step we take, God is there, walking alongside us. His presence is a constant reminder of His unending love and faithfulness. As we grow in our faith and deepen our relationship with God, our awareness of His presence becomes more profound. We start to recognize His hand in the intricate details of our lives, seeing His work in the beauty around us, in the people we meet, and in the situations we encounter. This awareness brings a deeper sense of peace and contentment, knowing that in every moment of our existence, we are surrounded by the loving, sustaining presence of God. So, how about God's presence in difficult times? In the midst of life's toughest struggles, when the weight of the world seems to bear down on us, it's easy to feel isolated and overwhelmed. The challenges we face can cloud our vision, making us feel as if we are wandering alone in an endless night. Yet, it's precisely in these hard times that God's presence becomes most tangible. Psalm 23 verses 4 to 5 offers profound comfort, saying, Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. These words paint a picture of a protective shepherd guiding and guarding his flock. Similarly, God walks beside us, his presence a reassuring touch in times of fear and doubt. He is the steady hand that guides us, the comforting voice that quiets our anxieties, and the unwavering light that shines through our darkest hours. His presence transforms our valleys of shadows into journeys of hope and resilience. He doesn't promise a life free from difficulty, but he assures us of his constant companionship and support through every trial. This divine companionship is a beacon of hope, reminding us that no night is too dark for his light to penetrate and no journey is so treacherous that his hand cannot guide us through. God's presence in our difficulties is not only a source of comfort, but also a wellspring of strength. In moments of weakness, when our own strength seems to fail us, his power is made perfect. My friends, the struggles we encounter can often be the very catalysts that deepen our reliance on God, drawing us closer to Him. As we lean into His strength, we find an unexplainable peace and resilience that carry us through. This peace does not come from the absence of trouble, but from the knowledge that God is with us in every circumstance. His strength becomes our shield, His wisdom our guide, and His love our sustaining force. Furthermore, God's presence in hard times shapes our character and refines our faith. Just as gold is purified through fire, our faith is strengthened and refined through the challenges we face. Each trial presents an opportunity for growth, a chance to develop a deeper trust in God's plans and purposes for our lives. These experiences teach us patience, endurance, and hope, molding us into stronger, more compassionate individuals. As we walk through these valleys hand in hand with God, we emerge not only unharmed, but also enriched, carrying with us a testimony of His faithfulness and a renewed spirit of resilience and hope. Next, let us look at recognizing God's guidance. God's guidance in our lives often manifests in ways that are quiet and unassuming, yet their impact is profound and unmistakable. Similar to a gentle breeze that we feel subtly yet surely, this guidance can come in various forms. Through the words of scripture, the leading of the Holy Spirit, the counsel of a trusted friend, or even through the quiet stirrings of our hearts. Proverbs 3 verse 6 instructs us, In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. This scripture speaks of a partnership with God, where our acknowledgement of his sovereignty opens the doors to his guidance. It's about trusting in his comprehensive plan, even when the road ahead isn't clear to our eyes. Recognizing God's guidance in our lives requires an attuned sense of spiritual awareness. Similar to learning a new language, the language of divine communication. Often, God's guidance is revealed not through dramatic or spectacular events, but in the quiet, seemingly ordinary moments of our daily lives. It might be found in the consistent themes that emerge in our daily devotions, the quiet conviction felt during prayer, 
or the unexpected words of wisdom from someone we meet. These instances, though small, carry with them the profound weight of God's direction. Proverbs 3 verse 6 is not just an encouragement, but a directive to actively involve God in all aspects of our lives. By doing so, we open ourselves to the myriad of ways in which He can guide us. Also, recognizing God's guidance involves an element of patience and waiting. Unlike the instant communication that we've grown accustomed to in our digital age, discerning God's will and direction often requires us to pause and wait. It's in these periods of waiting that our faith is both tested and strengthened. It's important during these times to remain steadfast in prayer and anchored in the Word of God. As we wait, our spiritual ears become more attuned to His voice, and our ability to discern His guidance improves. This waiting is an active engagement in seeking God's will, remaining open to His timing and methods. God's guidance often aligns with the gifts and talents He has bestowed upon us. These abilities, though they may seem natural or innate to us, are divine blessings designed to lead us towards God's purpose for our lives. When we use these gifts in service to others and to glorify God, we often find that His guidance becomes clearer. The intersection of our passions, talents, and opportunities to serve can be a powerful indicator of where God is leading us. It's a harmonious blend of our deepest joys and the needs we see in the world around us. Guided by the hand of God, recognizing God's guidance is a multifaceted process that involves staying spiritually attuned, patiently waiting on God's timing, utilizing our God-given talents, and also engaging with other believers as we navigate through life's journey. These aspects work together to help us discern and follow the path that God has laid out for us. Let us look at some biblical examples of God's guidance. The story of Joseph in Genesis is a compelling testament to the intricate and purposeful guidance of God. Joseph's life, marked by betrayal, injustice, and hardship, could easily be seen as a journey of misfortunes. Yet, through it all, Joseph remained steadfast in his faith, and God's guiding hand was evident. From being sold into slavery by his brothers to being wrongfully imprisoned in Egypt, Joseph endured, and God used these very experiences to prepare him for a greater destiny, becoming a ruler in Egypt, saving many from famine. Joseph's story, found in Genesis 37-50, is a powerful reminder that God's guidance often unfolds in ways that we might not immediately understand. It teaches us that our current struggles or setbacks are not indicators of our final destination. God is at work in our lives, weaving together every experience, every challenge, and every triumph to fulfill His graceful and purposeful plan for us. Another profound example is the story of Moses, called by God from a burning bush. Moses was guided to lead the Israelites out of Egyptian bondage. This journey was filled with obstacles and challenges, yet at each turn, Moses followed God's guidance, and through him, God performed miraculous deeds. These stories from the Bible encourage us to trust in God's guidance, knowing that He is with us every step of the way, turning our trials into testimonies and our challenges into channels of His blessings and glory. And this is why we need to draw from God's strength. Drawing strength from God is a foundational aspect of our spiritual journey, especially in moments when our own strength seems insufficient. Philippians 4 verse 13 captures this beautifully. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. This scriptural promise isn't about possessing an unending supply of physical energy or intellectual capability, but it speaks to a deep, more profound source of strength, a spiritual fortitude that comes directly from our relationship with God. This divine strength is what empowers us to face life's myriad challenges with courage and unwavering faith. It's a reminder that our abilities, when coupled with God's power, can carry us through any situation. This strength from God is particularly evident in times of trial and adversity. It's easy to feel strong when things are going well, but true spiritual strength is most visible in moments of weakness when we're faced with obstacles that seem insurmountable or when we're grappling with problems that appear unsolvable. It's the strength that God provides that helps us to persevere. This strength allows us to remain steadfast in our beliefs even when they're tested and to exhibit grace and forgiveness in situations where it seems hardest to do so. It's a strength that doesn't just help us endure, but enables us to thrive, transforming our trials into testimonies of faith. Also, the strength we draw from God is not just for our personal benefit. It also equips us to be a source of support and encouragement to others. 
Just as Paul wrote in his letter to the Philippians, this strength is shared so we can bolster others in their times of need. When we lean on God's strength, we become conduits of His power, offering hope and resilience to those around us. Our ability to extend compassion, offer help, and speak words of encouragement is amplified by the strength we receive from God. In this way, our struggles and victories become shared experiences, creating a community of faith that is strong and supportive. In essence, drawing strength from God means recognizing our own limitations and willingly placing our trust in His infinite power. It's about acknowledging that while we may face difficulties and hardships, we are never alone in these challenges. The strength we draw from God is a wellspring of resilience flowing within us and enabling us to overcome any barrier. It's a testament to the unshakable support and enduring power that we have access to through our faith. As we continue to navigate the journey of life, let us do so with the assurance that the strength we need is always available to us, generously provided by a loving and powerful God. My dear friends, let us hold close the understanding that God is always with us. He is our guide through the darkest nights, our source of strength in the face of adversity, and our constant companion through every step of life's journey. Our exploration today affirms that God's presence, guidance, and strength are ever-present in our lives. They are the compass that directs us, the shield that protects us, and the light that illuminates our path. Even in moments when we might feel alone or uncertain, let us remember that God's presence is as sure as the ground beneath our feet and the sky above our heads. His guidance is the map that helps us navigate through life's challenges, and His strength is the anchor that keeps us steady in turbulent seas. With this knowledge and faith, let us move forward, embracing each day with confidence and hope, knowing that God is always standing by us. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Almighty and Everlasting God, I come before you with a heart full of praise and thanksgiving. You are the Creator of all, the Eternal King, and the source of all life. Your majesty and glory surpass all understanding. I praise you, Lord, for you are mighty, and your steadfast love endures forever. You are the unchanging light in our lives and the solid rock on which we stand. Lord, I thank you for your endless blessings, for the breath of life, and for your presence that surrounds me. Thank you for being my guide, my strength, and my protector. Thank you for your promises to strengthen me, help me, and uphold me with your righteous right hand. Father, I ask for your forgiveness for my sins. Cleanse me with your grace and guide me in the path of righteousness. I also forgive those who have wronged me, releasing any bitterness and embracing your peace and love. Lord, as I navigate through life, let me always feel your guiding presence, leading me along the right path. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare victory over every challenge I face. I rebuke any form of attack from the enemy. I bind every spirit of fear, doubt, anxiety, and confusion. I declare that I am more than a conqueror through Christ who strengthens me. I ask for your healing touch upon my life and the lives of my loved ones. Heal our bodies, minds, and spirits, and let your power manifest in our lives. Lord, I pray for your protection over us. Guard us from harm and shield us from the snares of the enemy. Lead us away from temptation. I pray for blessings upon our lives. Bless our homes, the work of our hands, and our relationships. I ask for your daily provision in our lives, trusting in your promise to meet all our needs according to your riches and glory. Grant us our daily bread and sustain us with your grace and abundance each day. Let your favor and grace follow us in all that we do. As I say this prayer together with everyone listening, Lord, I am grateful for every heart that is humbled before you right now. We come in agreement as we pray for each other, asking for your guidance, strength, and love to be evident in our lives. As we face life's challenges, help us to remember that you are always with us. Fill us with your Holy Spirit and let your light shine through us. Lord, we claim victory in your name. We speak life and health into every part of our being, trusting in your miraculous power to renew and heal. May every broken spirit be mended, every physical ailment be healed, and every troubled mind find peace in your loving embrace. We give thanks for your protection and guidance. Cover us with your grace and love. May your divine peace settle deep within us, calming our anxieties, 
soothing our fears, and providing a steadfast anchor in the midst of life's storms. Let your will be done in our lives and in the lives of our loved ones, as it is in heaven. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, amen. Curious to discover more life-changing insights like these? Then dive right into our next video. It's a journey you won't want to miss. Click on the video and let's keep the universal's wisdom flowing.